Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Butts from the Mac Observer, and today I'm going to show you how you can set reminders easily and quickly for those text messages that you don't have time to follow up on. Imagine you get a text message, you know that you need to respond to it, you just don't have time or you need to work on something before you respond. So you need to be reminded. With the magic of if this, then that, or I'll just call it if, you can make sure that you get those reminders just by forwarding that text message to your if SMS number. Now, the first thing you want to make sure of is that you have the if this, then that app on your phone and that you're signed into it. Okay? You also need to make sure that it has the right permissions. So in settings, you want to scroll down until you find if this, then that, and make sure that reminders is toggled green or on. Without that, the applet that you're going to create cannot do anything for you. It won't have access to your reminders. So once you've made sure of that, you'll want to go into if this, then that, and the services you want to make sure that you are subscribed to are SMS and iOS reminders. Once you're subscribed to both of those, you can follow this, this walkthrough. So what I'll do is I'm already at my new applet page on IFT. I'm going to click on this and SMS is already at the top of my list for me. If it's not, you can just search for it. So I'll click on SMS. I'm going to use send IFT and SMS tagged. And the reason I'm doing that is because I use this particular service for multiple reasons and I don't want everything to show up in reminders. For my tag, I'll just call it remind me. So when I send my text message, I need to put hashtag remind me somewhere in that message. I'll create the trigger. And now what do I want it to do? I tap on that. And I will search for reminders. And I don't use Kyber calendars, to-dos, or reminders, but I do use iOS reminders. So I'll click on that. Then I click on Add Reminder to List. And now I can structure what I want the reminder to say. I don't want the hashtag. So under Add Ingredient, I'll put Message No Hashtag. And then I'll just type a little note to myself. Okay, in my list name, it defaults to IFTTT. You can change that if you'd rather use a different list. You can even add ingredients. So if you have a list or want a list of everything sent to your phone number or sent from your phone number, you can do that, receive that, anything like that. I'll just leave it at the default. And for priority, I'll set it to medium. Then I create action, and I should be good to go with that. If send my SMS number, an SMS tag remind me from my phone number, then add reminder to list. I don't need to receive notifications when the applet runs, so I'll turn that off, and then I'll click finish. All right, that looks good. I'll click on my activity page so I can follow up on that. And now let's test it out. I'll go back to my iPhone and let's say I really want to follow up on this text message that Brian Chaffin sent me recommending I check out the Black Angels. So I'll, I'll long press on that text message until I get the pop-up menus. I'll tap on more. I'll tap on the forward icon and then send this to if this then that texts, which is a contact that I've put in my address book so I can have quick and easy access to it. And I'll do hashtag 
remind me and send my text message. Now, I want to look at my activity, make sure that the applet ran, and it did. So now if I go to Reminders, shortly I should see that up, oh, and it's already there. I can see it in my Reminders list. So that's a handy way that you can make sure that you remember to follow up on text messages when you don't have time right away. We'll be back with more tips and tricks, so stay tuned to the Mac Observer. Thanks. Talk to you later.